Hello everyone, this is Dave from Western Digital Technical Support. In this video, we'll go over troubleshooting steps to take when your WD MyCloud home device is not detected, not found, can't connect, or if the device shows as being offline. In this video, a first in the series does not resolve the issue, then continue to each subsequent video in sequence until your WD MyCloud device is back online. The first step in troubleshooting a device offline issue is to perform a factory reset. This step is for a brand new out of the box MyCloud home device that has not had any file, pictures, videos, or other data stored on it. If you have used your MyCloud home device for a while and it has files stored on it, please proceed to the second video in the series and start your troubleshooting from there. Never perform a factory reset on a MyCloud home device that has been in use because it will erase your data. Unless you've performed a recent backup, you will lose all your saved files. Also, please be aware that you cannot backup or copy files from an offline MyCloud home device if you haven't performed a backup since your device went offline. You cannot connect to it via USB to pull your data off, even though the device is powered on. So how do you know if your MyCloud home device is offline? The first indication would be to check the LED on the front of the device. It would be solid white or slowly pulsating on and off. This pulsating effect is what we call slow breathing. A fast breathing or quickly pulsating LED could indicate the lack of an IP address. We won't have to worry about that now as we will be checking this further into our MyCloud Home troubleshooting series. The second indication would be that the device is showing as either not found, not detected, or shown offline in the phone or desktop application. The following steps will illustrate how to perform a factory reset on the MyCloud home device. Before you proceed, make sure that you have a paperclip, ballpoint pen, or another thin pointed object to insert into the hole to be able to depress the reset button. You cannot do this with your finger. Let's begin. Step one, check the back of the device and remove any external USB devices which may be attached. Step two, connect one end of the ethernet cable to the back of the MyCloud home device and plug the other end directly into the ethernet port on the internet connect router. This would be the router provided to you by your cable TV or internet service provider. The MyCloud home device must have an active connection to the internet for the reset to occur. Step three, power on the MyCloud home device. Step four, Wait four to five minutes to allow the system to come online. Step five, insert the paperclip, pin, or other pointed object into the hole on the back of the device and use it to press the reset button for 60 seconds or until the LED on the front panel starts blinking and the device powers off. Step six, the unit will automatically power itself on and restore itself back to the default factory settings. Once the reset has been completed and the LED is solid white and no longer pulsating, you must perform the setup procedure again by opening the browser on your computer and going to mycloud.com slash hello. Using the existing mycloud.com email address and password that you used the very first time you set up your MyCloud Home account. If your device is still not detected or is showing up as being offline, please proceed to the next video in the series. For more helpful how-tos, self-help videos, and tips, visit us on the web at www.westerndigital.com support. Thank you.